Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre. Last time we left off, we were hanging out outside of the map, not at this area. You were probably confusing me here, but I wanted to see what uh, this battle actually looks like if I had chosen to go here. I don't know if I'll do the entire battle or not, but I just want to see what happens. This castle shelters only the priests and followers of our order. We wish you no harm. Please, leave at once and do not return. I've come only to talk. Then why do I hear the cries of the wounded outside our walls? Because uh, I was a dummy and I sent my entire army in at your back door and I apologize for that. But, but believe me, you'll like the me in the other universe. Leave here! You must leave! This is no place for your kind! Enough! I am Olivia, a Sybil of the Order here. You wish to meet with our leader, Abuna Pranset? Come this way. What did you say? I'm sorry, Denim. Okay, I wonder if it just plays out the same from this point on? I'll continue to watch the cutscene myself, and if I notice anything different, I'll show it. Okay, I went ahead and rewatched the whole cutscene. Um, nothing else changed. It was a good refresher, at least, because we got, you know, Reminded there was a lot of stuff dropped in that, you know, about Denim's history, the history of the sisters, um, what the Dark Knights are actually looking for, all of that stuff. So it was a good refresher, at least. Uh, one other thing I think would be interesting. Do they say anything if I don't recruit them? You may not cross paths with this unit again. Are you sure you don't want to recruit them? Perhaps I am too much a novice to be of use to you. I was hoping you would say something. <laughs> Okay, okay. I was interested in what happens if you just say no. So, uh, that is cool. That is cool to see. So, now we just reload our save back over here where we made the other decision. And we are good. And we still have all of our friends in our party. Yay. Hey, Olivia. Sorry I denied you in the other universe. But I just thought that would be interesting to see because I was sure they would have something to say. And that was the best situation for me to actually do that. So, alrighty, well, I imagine they say the same things if I try to dismiss them from the party right now, because you can dismiss them from the party now, but uh, maybe in like the final episode or something, when I have like all of the characters, I'll try to dismiss all of them just to see what they say, uh, because I'm interested by that kind of stuff, so. Uh, alrighty, um, question now is, should I change Olivia into a light elemental class like I have the Nalto on, since you're going to be using these a fair bit? Maybe... Maybe? We should put Mother's Mercy on for sure. Hmm. It's a thought. It's a thought. I'll leave you like that for right now, but we, we will consider it in due time. So, why don't we uh, hit up the shop? And something someone did let me know is... Um, it seems like I do have to actually look in every single shop to see if we can find a neb, so... There are ways to get around it where I can kind of easily find it, but... I don't mind doing it this way, it's not the end of the world, so... Um, I'll run around the map really quickly. Actually, is there anything new in the Warren Report? Uh, there is. The Bamba Musa dead. Recent memory, Bamba Musa has been the site of a tragic massacre, and now it bears witness to a tragedy of a different kind. Legions of Walking Dead now stalk the town, having appeared out of nowhere. It is not known where they originated. We can but hope they will be stopped before too much damage is done. Okay, I have been told any time I hear a location mentioned, I need to go there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to Bamba Musa, but I do want to check. There's probably some updates here. He was reunited with his father, Prince, at the Brigantis Castle, and from him learned the truth of Kashua's past. Olivia also revealed he was actually born in Heim of Bakram descent, with his father, the brother of Regent Branton Morn. He now seeks to destroy the Dark Knights to fulfill his father's dying wish. Yep, Branton is my uncle. Cool. Mazes Urim, Gagastani, supporter of Hierophant Balbados and the member of the White Alliance, secret society of hardliners. Yurim's primary field of study was Gagastani folklore, and he often warned that harmony between the clans in recent years, along with an influx of peoples from beyond the island, were threatening to destroy the old ways and knowledge. Yeah, that's always a problem, isn't it? When you try to unite everyone, there's a good chance that 
cultures are destroyed in the process because everyone kind of just morphs into one, you know, group. Members of the Alliance took traditional Gagastani colors as their code names. Urim's was Blue Russet. Unable to accept the changes that came with the Hierophant's death, Urim and his compatriots continued action against the Almorican army. Fortunately for him, Denim caught word that he was moving on Vergantis Castle and set an ambush in the Bahana Highlands. Urim's chance to settle a long-standing grudge slipped from his fingers as he fell, slain in battle. I honestly identify with your issue a lot, because yeah, you don't want to lose your culture like that. Uh, after the princess came forward and he was no further used to knights, he was released and taken in by the Order of Falaha, but the serum used during his questioning had left him on death's door. Before taking his last breath, he spoke to Denim of Kashul's past and the path that lay before him. And yeah, they held him captive at Heim in an attempt to gain information regarding King Dorgalua's heir. Yeah, and he assumed the name Pavel to hide his connection to Branton. That's another, uh... Yeah, he was the younger brother of Regent Branton. His new name, his true name is Prancet Morn. And he took the name Pavel to hide the connection, so that's some important details to keep in mind as well. Maruva Forena, Bakram from Heim, who was once Arcurius of the Order of Falaha in the Kingdom of Valeria. He left Heim after being ousted by Exarch Branton. Continued to travel the land, spreading the word of Falaha, but went missing at the outbreak of war. And the rogue Diego. Lover of ale and women, given to a laugh of debauchery, behind his blithe demeanor is a fierceness that can make the burliest of brutes take notice. Seems to know his way around a sword, but his fighting days may be long behind him. 56. Olivia. Bakram, who was once a sibyl of the Order of Falaha. She is the youngest of four daughters born to Maruva Ferena, a former Arcurius in the Order of Falaha. After escaping political strife in Heim, she continued to pass on the teachings of the Order with her father. She joined the upper echelons of the Order upon her father's disappearance, and her stoutness of heart garnered much trust from the congregation. She came upon Abuna Prancet while traveling the Corpse Vale on the outskirts of Heim and took the ailing Abuna to Vergantis Castle. When Denim came to the castle, she arranged for them to meet, and later told him the truth of his lineage. She then joined the resistance in the hopes that it would lead her to her own father. Sistina, after speaking with her sister Olivia at Brigantis Castle, she mended her ties with the Order of Falaha. Cool. Sherry, a magus or magus serving the Bakram host. She is the second eldest of four daughters born, born to Maruva Farena, former Arcurius of the Order of Falaha. Once a missionary for the Order, Worshippers of the Great Father, she chose a different calling upon the death of her mother, which left her disillusioned with her faith. She eventually joined the Bakram army, an expert in Magus, her abilities were soon recognized, and she was given her own command. An old acquaintance of Branton Morn, she is now one of, the mo one of his most trusted aides and is believed to be handling a matter of great secrecy. We're gonna be seeing you later, Sherry! And after speaking with her sister Olivia at Brigantis Castle, she mended her ties with the Order of Falaha. There we go. Alright, so those are all the updates I wanted to grab there. So, um, I'll save Balma Musa as the last place I go to, because I'm pretty sure that's going to have something going on since we had that event. But, uh, I will go hit up everywhere else. Just to make sure. Why, hello there. Wow, the first one! That's insane. <laughs> I was just about to cut. I'm sure I have something you want. Okay, what do you got? Exorcism Oh, Oh, hell yes. Give me two of those. Remove a buff from a single target. I'll take one. Oh my god. New monkey, bridle, benum, and venom. Come on, have some new cool stuff. Bedeviling dance? I think we already have that one. Slows? Actually, no, I don't think we do. Slows multiple nearby enemies. That could be useful. I will buy that. Huh. Okay. That's all you have, though, yeah? Uh, no, you have items, too. Um, I could buy mending seeds and stuff from you. Anything else interesting here, really? Braze Skewer. Lean Healthy Alternative. The skewer gives a slight but permanent boost to the dex and agility of a single target. What? Limited, only one is left. Slight but permanent boost to the dex and agility of a single target. Thank you, I will be taking that and giving it to Denim, probably. Uh, anything else interesting in here? Gale Orb? This mysterious energy emanates from this orb of air, Crystallis. Yes? Effect Procella. What does that mean? 
A long range ability that invokes a malediction in an ancient tongue that deals slashing air damage to multiple targets with a terrifying gale has a chance to stop targets. It says it's consumable though, so we can only use this once? Oh, that's scary. I can only use it once, but I mean, it's it's limited. I might as well buy it. Restore a single zombie unit to its natural state. Yes, please. Um, I'll buy a few more of those. Why not? Okay, and do you have any interesting marks, mage? I should buy some of these that I don't have many of while I have the cash money, just so I have access to them if I ever need them. Dragoon, Ninja, Beastmaster, and you sell a bunch of different types of things here. Huh, do I- I wonder if I should be buying... Like, maybe you have some things that the other shop doesn't have access to? Do you sell any interesting recipes? No. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe you have, like, better consumables than the other shop. Like, let's craft. Could I craft anything interesting? Okay, um, there's not really anything interesting here, but I was scrolling through all of these. This Petra Dart Blowgun gives 15 strength! My god! That is absurd! I'm kind of interested in that for, for that reason. It also has a longer range, which is cool. My god, that seems interesting. Also, petrification at this particular point in the game seems like it would be better than than charm, so that might be something to look into. Okay, I think I've gotten uh, everything I want from here. I've never even looked at the higher menu. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Alright, I think I've gotten everything I want from you. I don't see- these aren't like level twos of these or anything. I will buy these just to have them. There's more options. And I'll buy Invigorating Dance as well. And yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I spent a lot of my money here, but this seems like pretty good stuff. So, looks neat to me. I didn't see any crazy consumables that I think I would want. I mean, removing fear from a target could be useful. They sell Dynasty King's Meads and Haunt Tomes and all this stuff, but I got the unique things, and that's mostly what I wanted, so... Goodbye, Deneb. Thank you. Alrighty, so yeah, we ran into you, so you were in Port Ashton, so... I don't even have to go to, um any of these other places right now. Um, I might still run to them just to be sure. Oh. So, Sir Lancelot has not yet returned. Oh. Really? I, I absolutely didn't expect everything. See, now this is why I wanted to just take the minute to run to every single location just to be sure. Let us hope he is all right. <laughs> You should get some rest. Your wounds have yet to fully mend. I'm fine. I think I've staved off death another day. So, Warren, there was something I wanted to ask you. Hmm, this has the sound of something serious. Why did you come to our isles? The real reason. Why do you want to know? If your ends are the same as Lotus, I would ask you to return to Zenobia. Oh. I have no wish to fight you. If you've another purpose here, perhaps I can help. I already told you. We were banished. <sighs> the truth, Warren. Ah, very well. The truth, then. We are here on an errand for our king. But I assure you, we have no designs on Valeria. Our true purpose is quite different. We will return as swift as possible, Majesty. This seems like an incredibly important cutscene. I didn't accidentally stumble into a story cutscene. Like, there's red areas to the left of the map, so... <laughs> yeah. I mean, and we're supposed to be going to go see the Arcurius right now, so I think this is like a little side thing. This banishment was a necessary evil. Fool a friend to fool a foe, or so they say. We deserve no less. The safekeeping of the blade was our sworn duty. 
On the honor of the Holy Knights, we will return Brynhilda to its rightful place. Is that the legacy of King? So you are searching for the same thing as the as the Dark Knights, because it said it was an artifact. The the you know thing passed down through Dorgalawa and everything, and you need to get into the tomb to get it. So this is Brynhilda, I'm imagining. Whatever Lotus's reason for taking the blade, it belongs here. See it done, Lancelot. Your Majesty. Brynhilda? All this intrigue over a sword? No ordinary sword. It is said that he who wields Brynhilda wields a conduit to the wisdom of the gods and to their wrath. I cannot vouch for the legend, but regardless, the sword is an ancient Zenobian heirloom. We must retrieve it at any cost. And it was the Dark Knights who stole it. Okay, so ne never mind. This is not the this is not the same weapon that's in Dorgalawa's tomb. I thought that's where we were going for a second, but no. This is something the Dark Knights just straight up stole from Zenobia. Quite right. We were convinced they had taken the sword to Lotus, yet all the while it was in Valeria. Did they bring it here as mere subterfuge, or for some deeper purpose? We must... <laughs> must find out. <coughs> I mislike the sound of that cough. You had better rest now. Think no more on the sword. We will find it. And when we do, it will be safe. I've no doubt of that, Denna. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, getting a legendary weapon away from the Dark Knight seems like a good call. Okay, interesting. Well, now I'm going to obsessively check every single town all the time and no one can stop me! Alright, that should be everything. I believe we are good, so... To Musa. Yes. Things. Perform an action to exercise an undead enemy and perform an action to revive an incapacitated ally. Really? What is there a reward for reviving someone? An ice charm? Uh, I probably want to get that, but that requires someone dying. Uh, not ideal. Okay, so, yep, we're over here. Whoa? Hi? Okay, well that's why we need to revive someone. Oelius, you're level 38? Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, I'm gonna need to resurrect you. That is a must. Also, what are... That is a zombie cyclops. Yep, that is a zombie cyclops. Okay, and that is a zombie dra hydra. Beautiful, beautiful. And that is a zombie griffin. Beautiful. Alright, so yeah, this is a uh, bunch of zombies in this battle. Got it. So, alrighty. Let's uh, check out what team I want to put in here. Oh yeah, I do need to check their uh, equipment and jazz. So, what are we mostly rocking, friends? Alright, so, uh, this is the team I think I'm going to be rocking. We've went through a few changes here. Um, some things to note are... As far as weapon types for us go, I don't really think it matters. We want Slash and Pierce defense, as is per usual, uh, here recently. Obviously, us doing extra damage to undead would be ideal. Um, I didn't have a lot of characters that could actually make use of that. But, uh, I do have a few. Um, I don't think you had one, Canopus. I didn't actually look super hard. You have extra damage to beasts with, uh, the bow gun, and then you have... Yeah, the Balder crossbow is against divine units, so... Okay, that's fine, though. Um, Sestino's not in the battle. For you, I put on the Superior Spirit Blade, which does do extra damage to undead. Um, you I outfitted with some stuff and gave you Resurrect, and Halbrim's not in the battle. RSL, I did change into a Beast Tamer again. I will go get your Petra Dart Gun uh, at some point. I also have Subdue in, in case I want to try and get myself a, uh, 
Well, I actually think I would rather tame, because I want that Hydra. The Hydra's interesting to me. Um, and Murden, uh, I changed back into a White Knight, because your stats are so much better as a White Knight, and I could just make someone else a Dragoon. This class is unique to you guys, so yeah, I think I will keep you on this, just in case I ever want two of you. Um, the main thing that made me do this was, uh, most of the enemies in this battle are Lightning, um, so I needed more Earth units, and Murden's one of my only other Earth units, but I didn't have a lot of reason to put him in, because there's not that many beasts in the battle. So I was like, eh, I'll just make you a white knight. So you're back to being a white knight, congratulations. Um, but we can put some things on you. Something I'm kind of interested in doing is actually doing away with this swords for you. And having you use fist, because I don't have anybody that uses fist weapons. So I'm a little bit interested in fist weapons, so I, I, might, just, I might just throw that on for shits and giggles here. And then otherwise you can just have, like, velocity shift. Um... That sounds good to me. Because, yeah, I don't know, the, the cutlasses are cool and all, and the ability to poison is nice, but I don't have anybody using fist weapons, so I would like somebody using fists. Um, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll put that on and see how it goes. Um, and then, of course, you're in, Bayon's in, because Bayon is also Earth. And Donalto, I gave Exorcism and Exorcism 2, as well as Azurect. I took off Major Heal for that, so... Alrighty, I think that's basically all of the stuff I wanted to go over, so let's go ahead and hop in and see what the deal is here. I have to revive this guest character and help them. For sure. Who? Who could have done this? Sleep, souls. Embrace the waiting Everworld. Nothing happens. You gotta still him first. No. This does not go well. I cannot deliver them all to rest. You there! Are you alright? You saved me! Not yet. You're about to die. I saw the pre-battle. Flee while you can. May the protection of the Father be with you. No! Ah, blast! If we'd only arrived sooner. Denim, we need to get some of those shift stones. Those things are convenient as all hell, you know? Where can we get some of those? Everybody else seems to have them. <sighs> she still lives. Quick, aid her! I shall. We gotta go. Vanquish the enemy. Alrighty, so, um, I've got to get somebody over there to resurrect as quickly as possible. Um, Laverna, I don't believe you have- yeah, I still need to put some items on you. That is a thing that still needs to be done, but I can get you pretty far up there. And sure, you can whack Redwald here. Looks good to me. We need to steal some of these corpses as well. Uh, oh yeah, and you have the undead repelling thing on, which is cool. That'll be useful here. I should have thrown a stone at some of these, like, briars and stuff. Uh, but yeah, most of the enemies in this battle are... Lightning. There's, like, two water ones. So, yeah, it's definitely good bringing in as many Earth units as we can. Simon. Interesting. Okay, Canopus. Um, you go ahead and go up there. Just, uh, throw a quick jab. There we go. This little dork is hanging out up here. Uh, Bayon, you don't have enough for anything yet. I could magic seed with you. But I don't think we're gonna need to in this battle, to be honest with you. I think we'll be just fine. You got the back attack going. Yeah, I could, I could try and get myself a zombie griffin. That could be cool. The main reason I wanted to have two of these dorks is, um... One, like I said, your stats just went up so much, Murden. So, that just seemed apt. I could also, if I really wanted to, change, like, Sistina, uh, into a Dragoon, because, um, she uses spears. So it would be... it would work out well for her. That would make her a bit more of a niche pick, but... Um, this class is unique to you guys, so it makes sense to me to 
keep you on there, I suppose. It is strong, and I don't usually like having multiple of the same class, but we have so many characters that I can just freely switch them out whenever I want to, so it's not like you two are going to be in the party permanently. I was thinking of it from like a tactics perspective, where you run through the game with like the same five characters for a long time. But no, since we can just freely swap people in and out, I can just have you as a white knight and use you whenever I feel the need. So, sounds like a good call to me. Because yeah, you were useful as a dragoon, but uh, this way I can also put you on fist weapons so we can actually have somebody that uses fist weapons. Oh no, I forgot to put your skills back on, Denim. I put all of your equipment back on, I did not put your skills back on. <laughs> well, Denim's, uh, Denim's just gonna be stabbing people. Uh, yeah, I basically auto-equipped Denim, Denim and edited your equipment, but I forgot to put all your skills back on from where I'd taken them all off last time to, uh, <laughs> to try and figure out what was going on with, uh, that thing. Uh, alrighty, well, let's start shooting some idiots. No one to really shoot. Okay. We got a zombie Uhuk. Look at the zombie Uhuk. Owie. Yeah, we haven't really run into many classes that seem like they'd be a good fit for, um... Fist weapons, so if I can have a white knight that just walks around punching people... The idea of a- the idea of a white knight that uses his fists is... Already an incredibly, incredibly awesome prospect, so... You don't even have enough to s get rid of that stilled enemy if I wanted to, so... Just grab that magic up, why don't you, Donato? You can cast healing magic on some idiots. Alrighty, um... So, from here... There is a critical up you could grab. That could probably be pretty useful. Um... Can't quite reach you. Do okay damage to either of them. Would have been better if I had actually knocked you off, but... Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. I also gotta make sure you guys have enough MP when the time actually comes, so that's something else to keep in mind. Gildas, go ahead and run up there. And I can kind of uh, build my two white knights differently. So Gildas actually has a shield, so I can make him like the tank one that has guardian shift and stuff. Whereas I can make Murden like a more offensive based one that just kind of runs in and has velocity shifts and all of that jazz. So, I think this is a good call. Uh... You do have a Blessing Stone, so why don't you go ahead and get in there. Oops, not that. Uh, right here. You can grab this. And we'll just use a Blessing Stone so I can guarantee the revival right now. Get up, Oilius. So nothing crazy happens. There you go. Revived. Thank you, good sir. Um, why didn't you heal yourself? I would aid you in return. You need to mend yourself first. That'll be best done elsewhere. Go, quickly. May the protection of the Father be with you. There, now use that stupid shift stone. Also, give me one. Okay, at least you just left the battle now, so cool. We're we're good to just we're good to just go ahead here. Alrighty. Well, now we can just focus on taking out all the enemies, and everything will be hunky-dory. Can't believe I forgot to put everything back on. <laughs> How unfortunate. We'll 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 remember we'll remember next time though. Uh, next time we get out of here, that is. Back onto the map. So, Bayon, go ahead and drop that. Two poisons. It's pretty good. We'll go ahead and get you that auto skill, why don't we? All right, uh, this is for RSL. How about hit you? And owie, pain. All right, the stilled fade on, faded on you up there. So let's smack you around. I suppose if I actually want to proper um, level up your fists, I should just go ahead and put you on them now, but I don't know, I kind of like... I want to, um... I didn't want to- I didn't want to make you lose your, uh... Whatchamacallit ability. Your, uh, finishing blows. So I was holding off on it, but... Maybe it would be best just to... 
Go ahead and do it. Did I hit you? Ooh, I can do a big damage to you. Nigning. Alrighty. I can't wait to be able to recruit one of those dorks. It'll be super fun. Counter. Laverna's getting kind of messed up, but it's fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be petrifying people in just a second here. Oh, I wish you hadn't knocked him away, actually. There's my... my Dargan. That I need to recruit. Uh, okay. So... Let's see here. Donalto, you have an exorcism. You don't really have much else of use. So just grab some more magic. Alrighty, you, though, can drop a Petra Breath on these three. Beautiful. Does the Petrified get rid of the poison? It seems like it actually did cure them of their poison, which is unfortunate, but, uh, oh well. I mean, I guess getting turned into a rock will stop the spread of the poison. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so Olivia... You have enough to drop a major heal. That's a very good spot to drop it, too. Not only will it heal you, who needs it, but it'll also damage them a whole bunch. Cool. Getting a lot out of that cast. Mm-hmm. Zombie Griffin. On the way. Velocity shift on yourself, Gildas, and Guardian Force. Okay, you can actually get up there, sure. Go ahead and hit the stupid thing. And yeah, I am gonna wanna try and recruit you. You'll be a zombie, but I'll have a Hydra. We can level the zombies up with like charms, I believe people mention, so. It'll be fine. And Venom. Concentration. Steel Stance, we got it all. Uh, so I could Shadow Bind someone. Or I could drop a fire snake, that's not gonna do much. Or I could hit you. There we go. Go ahead and get the poison down. I wish I could target like two different targets with that. Oh wow, I'm really boxed in. Um, like I could target one target with uh, the double attack and then another one so I could try and get the poison on two different people. No point in getting auto skill on you, did him. You are incredibly nerfed this fight. Because the person controlling you is a dumb. There we go. Okay, we can get pretty close to this thing. Let's go ahead and get up here. RSL, who do I want you to shoot? Probably you. There's a good chance the poison will kill you now, so. Tremendous shot. Just how tremendous is this shot? Pretty tremendous. Uh, you move right there, Canopus. I want to save up for a dull bind here, for sure. Um, ooh, 332 to Simon there. And I got the silence, that's fantastic. Beautiful. Uh, your turn is coming up. So I do think I will uh, do a murder on you. Murden doing his murdering. There we are. Alright, and I did put a... Uh, Oh, I did not put exercise on you. Yeah, they're all on Donalto, that is right. Uh, hmm. Just stay right there, I suppose, for now. Donalto, you can go ahead and do an exorcism on Redwald there. Beautiful. What is that? Luck? Not super crazy about it. Owie. Yeah, you're not looking uh, like you're in a good spot there. Poison Breath. Interesting. That seems like a good effect for a dragon to have. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. Um... I could hit these two. It wouldn't really do a lot of damage to them, though. Who else could I hit? I could hit you. The poison's... Probably gonna kill you, though. Let's hit, uh, Rosamund there. Looks good to me. There you go. Enjoy your death. Stop picking on Laverna. I will not stand for this. Oof. You are not in a good spot. Sis uh, Saria. I'm gonna Sistina. 
Very frightened, survive, survive, surrounded by like four zombies. You know, I can understand why you're frightened. I definitely get where you're coming from here. It's pretty horrifying. Uh, okay, so 113. Alternately, it could hit these three. Mm, I want to hit them, but I would also hit Surya. Alternately, it can do big damage to you two. Let's hit you two. The statues, they're, they're, they're no problem at the moment, so. Yeah, I could also try to recruit. Oh wait, no, I didn't put Cokes on Bayon. Or wait, no, Bayon doesn't have access to Cokes. That's just mages. So never mind, actually. Uh, yes. Hi, I am your death. Mr. Skelly. Simon. And Canopus. Uh... What's you moving like right there, I believe? That Archer's turn is coming up, right? Ooh, or we could do one of these. That's pretty good damage. Alternately, I could just kill both of them. They're still active. Let's just kill both of them. Brimstone Hail. God, what a good ability. That wasn't enough to kill the Griffin, actually, because... Yeah, it has a lot of HP. RSL's turn is coming up, so I am going to do a bit more damage to the Hydra here. Having Poison Breath sounds very, very nice for... a dragon. Quite thrilled by the sound of that. Uh, Olivia... We could use a major heal a few places. Um... It'll do 76 damage to you. Yeah, drop it, like, right there. I probably could have moved into that, too. I should've. But whatever. Uh, Sistina, you... Or, sorry, uh, you are not looking good. Um... Let's see, you could... Kill this... And... Run away? That looks good to me. Velocity shift. Velocity. Uh, Rending Gale, Vile Wound. Let's Vile Wound it. Kill ya. Good stuff. Alrighty, and Laverna. Uh, marginal damage to a few more people. Or I can... Like, fly up here and hurt you a lot. You actually will probably take pretty good damage from me. 205, 159. We'll just do the 159. There we are. Okay, and another unit we want to still right here. Uh, but we're gonna have to wait a second for that. Or we want to exercise, not still. Alrighty, so let's try and tame you. Nope. Alrighty. Well, uh. My god, that took so many tries! <sighs> that took... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tries before I got this thing. 26% chance, by the way. Uh, alrighty. Well, it's taken care of now, and that's the important thing, so... Go ahead and hit Philra over there. We got ourselves a Hydra, and that's what matters. That's what I wanted. Okay, um, Crackfall? That looks good to me. Gonna be hitting Donalto here, but it's fine. Donalto can take a rock on the head. And... Not really a lot for you to do. Physical damage up, congratulations. Yeah, you can just go ahead and chase down this final enemy. That looks good to me. Bonk, good stun. You're silenced? Yeah, so you're just you're just slapping me. That's fine. Go ahead and waste your turn doing that. Uh Yeah, I guess we're just gonna move back here and shoot you in the face, huh? Good crit. Alright, pretty easy battle. Um, let's see... 
drop Petro Breath on like someone here. Hmm. Could move like right here and drop the Petro Breath on like you. Makes him slightly more annoying to kill, but at least it does get damage. Okay, yeah, there we go. Good. I didn't actually want that one to get petrified. <laughs> they're a little bit more annoying to kill when they're a statue. Owie. Uh, there's a bunch to exercise right there. I'm gonna need Donalto to hopefully have enough. Hopefully you hit a meditate coming up here. Denim, you can do absolutely nothing. Mother's Mercy, where's my Meditate? Mother's Blessing? Well, I can exercise one of them. So, I guess I'm just gonna exercise you. I wanted to exercise all of them, but we don't have the MP for that. So, sure. Alrighty. Steel Stance is active. Can... Yeah, you are still afraid. Fine, just shadow bind this dork. There we go. That's more useful than what you were going to do. Okay. Eat it. And yeah, I needed to. Okay, your petrified faded. Okay, that's fine. You'll just be easier to kill. I'm cool with that. Uh, RSL. 100 damage. You should be able to finish them off. I'll hit Philra. Oh yeah, I should be... Damn it, I should be bow gunning. Um... I want to hit both of them. I'm gonna hit the Nalto if I do that, though. Could disembrain someone. No, let's just hit Claudian. With a Vulcan Lance. Enjoy the afterlife! You're... Hopefully you actually go there this time. Oh no, Donalto's dead. That is, uh, an ideal. And one of the units is about to get back up. This is not good. Uh huh. Um. Well then. Uh, how much would a Petro Breath do to these two? I could just kill you, though. Yeah. Oh wait, that's, that didn't quite do enough. Damn it all. Yeah, this is annoying. Uh, you have Resurrect, but you don't have enough for it. Well, that blows. I'm just not getting the MP that I need here. Yeah. I gotta use the MP seeds on Donalto earlier, but... Uh, I was so busy doing so many other things. <sighs> Ow. Stop that, you bastards. Not, not that. Um, let's throw that at you. Good. Canopus. It would be nice if you had enough for, you barely don't have enough for another brimstone. That is unfortunate. How much would a dead shot do? Nearly as much. How about a dull bind? We'll just do one of those. Good. Velocity shift for you. Um, did I take off all your exercising things? I might have. Ancient death to you. Um, do you have any? No. Oh, well, no, of course Denim doesn't have any. Took everything off you, remember? There we go. Frightened faded. You might have one of the exorcism things? You do! Um, This character's turn is next, so just drop one on there, please. There we are. Okay, and you can actually finish this doofus off this time. Beautiful. Alright, now it's just the skeleton that's going to be going next, which... Hopefully, I should just be able to finish things by then. Um, actually, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish things, but... Yeah. You're not, you're not gonna be dying before your turn comes. Before that thing's turn comes. Uh, eh, maybe. If I pull off some crazy stuff, 
With you, though, I honestly just want to shoot with uh, this some more. It'll only do a little bit of damage, so never mind, Dark Weight. I gotta end this fight. Good, you are leadened. Beautiful. Okay, see, I thought you were gonna go kill Bayon, but you didn't, actually. Thank you for that. Uh, heal? Would not do enough. Uh... Yeah, I mean... Sure, heal like Syria. Sloppy fight, but... It's whatever. Gildas is all the way over there, so you're not going to be doing anything. You can exercise Ellie, though. Bye, Ellie. HP? That's whatever. It's one extra HP. You have a thousand, so basically a useless card. It feels pointless to even go out of my way to pick that up, but maybe my life will be saved by one HP one day. Who knows? Alright, I think now we can win. I really wish I could hit you. Fortunately, I can't. Yeah, I think now we'll be able to win. Especially... Oh, you can't Petro Breath both of them. I was hoping you would be able to. But no. You can do that much, you can do that much. A Petro Breath will... 310, 268. It would at least kill this thing. There you go, you're dead. And you can... Boulder... Hit that one. They have more HP. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be ending this fast enough here. You do have enough, though, to... Oh, wait, no, you don't, you don't have it. Yeah, that's right. Damn you. 258. Thunder Wave would also do 258. Double Attack would do... more. Alright, Double Attack's what we need. Because the poison... Oh, damn you. Okay, well, this is annoying. They're all just barely hanging on. Stupid undead bastards. Yep, you're still fade, faded. It's whatever. Okay. I should have put on more of the exercising things. And put an exorcism on, uh... The Sybil. As well. Uh... Okay... Balamu is going to go down soon. I think I just want to kill the stupid spirit, though. Or I could just do this and kill them both. Yeah, sorry, Surya. You understand, right? Okay, now it's just this dumbass right here. And... If I shoot at Denim, I will hit you. There. My god. Unusual for zombies to attack en masse like this. Perhaps the woman we saved knows something. We can ask her while we tend to her wounds. Where do the shift stones even go? Is there like a... Is there like a hub that everybody that uses the shift stone goes to? You know? These are the questions I feel need to be answered. Well, at least we got a free ice charm out of that. And we got a zombie, and the crowd didn't like that we got the zombie. They booed me. That's kind of mean of them. Fames wants to join the party. Well, I'll take you just for your... Oh, it's a ring of alacrity. Whatever. Get in the party. Alright. I came here with my companions. To treat and heal those caught up in this war. The attack came without warning. The zombies. They moved like a troop of living men. It was an organized attack. Okay, yep, we got more necromancer stuff going on. You believe this was not a chance event, but a willful act? Someone sent those zombies on the town. I fear so. But who would put the dead to... To such... <coughs> Steady. I fear that the respite from death you have given me is but temporary. 
Oh, damn, you were level 38. I was hoping you'd join the team. It would have been awesome. The zombies moved to attack Almorica. Please, you must protect the people there. Give the dead their deserved rest. I promise we'll do all we can. Thank you. I go to my maker. In peace. Ah. <sighs> Well, that is unfortunate. I mean, I didn't actually expect her to join the party, but I was was shocked by the fact that she was level, um, that high of a level. So we gotta go back to Almorica now, yeah? Well, um, there are a few things I wanna do. Uh, yes, hello. I would like to, um, craft, not auction, craft that, uh, Petrodart blowgun, because I don't know, I'm interested in it. This one has way higher attack stat, but... I don't know, 15 strength seems ridiculous. Once again, seems like a fantastic stat stick, sure. so... There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I also think there's like some more armor and stuff that I need to get. I think I need more balder armor. So, you know, let's just craft like... Two sure. more of those. Um, and I think I need some helmets as well. So let's, uh, craft a few more of those. And, uh, I do need a wizard's hat plus one. You sure? That looks good. And... I think everything else is mostly good. I think. Um, I do have the ring of the mind. Is it... It is, is currently equipped. Let's, uh, make another one of those. Yes. Sure? And then let's make the ring of the mind. Plus one. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And how many of these uh, exorcism things did I get? Enough, I hope. Uh, let's just go here. I'm not scrolling past it, right? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm crafting. That's... God, I'm stupid. Well, we can make some more of these at least. So we can get back to... Just give the word. Having a few more magic seeds here. Just yeah. Give Just give the word. All right, we're good there. Cool. Um, so that's some more things there. Uh, I need to remember to actually equip my party with these things. So. Just give the word. All right, so uh, I was uh, hanging out in this menu because I realized I wanted some fist weapons for uh, Murden, and I made a uh, one of these. I I've seen this in Disgaea before, and I still don't know how to say it. It's Bagdad, I, I I don't know. I'm not going to insult myself by trying anymore. Um, so this applies poison on hit, this does extra damage to fairies, and this does extra damage to beasts. Um, I did get this one before I noticed that this was an option, because this is stronger and still applies poison on hit, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yep, yeah, but we have some more fist weapons. I also got an upgraded Exarch staff for Olivia here, because she did not have one. So, there you go. And Murden, say goodbye to your shield. You're just gonna be running in, punching things now. Boom. Two-handed weapon equipped. Yes. Uh, ooh, that's another thing I can do. Um, I can also upgrade some of the rings that we have. Damn it, I keep remembering new things to get. Alrighty, so uh, I went and upgraded everybody's rings. So uh, I don't have anything on Sestina, actually. But, um, or Saria. But you have a Ring of the Mind now. You, uh, I put out another Ring of Vitality and gave it to Gildas. Uh, RSL has a Ring of Deafness to increase her dexterity. And Murden has a Ring of the Horde to increase his attack damage even more. So, yep, that looks good to me. Cool, cool, cool. I think I am happy with that. Alright, so now we can go back to Almorica Castle, as it mentioned. Um, a, a day has passed, right? So, I can hit the shop again? Does- does the shop stock change? Whoa! Uh... Uh... 
I was walking around and I stumbled upon Quadriga Fortress. Um, I thought we were heading to Almorica, not Quadriga. Uh... Weird. Very, very weird. You look interesting. Unique Terror Knight? Weird. Okay, uh, th this is something we're gonna be dealing with, apparently. Um, let's see what all they got. Alright, this is the, uh, team I'm going to go in here with. Once again, pretty self-explanatory. I love Laverna. A lot of the enemies are Dark Elemental and, uh, Earth Elemental, so we want as much air as we can get. So I have Canopus and Uhukin. Uh, Gildas and Merden are staying. I took Bayon out. RSL stays because I want her to train up, but she's weak to a lot of the things here, but she'll just be supporting Laverna mostly. And uh, as far as armor goes, uh, we mostly want to be doing crush damage if we can. That's why I did put Uhuk in as well, because we want to be doing a pretty good amount of crush. Um, something else is uh, there is a lot of dark magic, so I gave as many people as I possibly could the Balder armor. I did put the Petrodart blowgun on RSL, in case you were wondering. You're using the Katara. I don't think there was a better thing for you to use. Yeah, I mean, these poison, but sure, we'll stick with the Katara. I mean, she is a fantastic waterbender, so I see no reason not to. Um, and let's also give everyone some of these because uh, it'll probably be useful. Everyone that's in the fight, at least. So you can take some of that. Um, Denim has one. Uhuk, do you have any? Uh, let's replace that Garen powder with uh, one of these. Alrighty, and we'll give you one too as well, Donato. There we go. So we have a fair few of those things now. I think we are ready to do battle. It's kind of crazy, you just- you- I, I'm going to just walk around the map after every story event, basically. Our enemy approaches. Now we will take what they took from us. <laughs> his, his name is Sir Divold and he's a zombie. <laughs> Their leader is as much of a corpse as they. The dead leading the dead? Something foul is afoot. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, there is a dark dragon hanging out back there. I wouldn't mind grabbing that thing. Uh, I'm gonna want to still that stupid thing over here as quickly as possible. The cockatrice. Sorry, sorry. You're, you're. I like you, Laverna. You're fantastic. Um, all other cockatrices are evil gremlins, though. You're the only one I care for. Alright, Robin. You're gonna need Batman to come save you. Uh, okay, let's just- there's a bunch of casks and stuff hanging out in here, so let's just start chucking shit. Uh, that's a water barrel, actually, not a wine cask. I do want the Dark Dragon. Kind of interested in, uh, grabbing one of those. You do have one of the exercising things. This is... The what dragon? This is not the dark dragon. This is a flood dragon. It was purple. But that's because it's normally blue, and being a zombie gives you a purple tint, apparently. There you go. Um, most other kinds of zombie fiction, I see the, uh... They're, they're more of like a sickly green, or a yellow, or something. I like purple, so I'm down with this version of zombies. Because I like purple. Uh, alrighty. Let's see, this video's already pretty long, so I might just try and take the boss out as quickly as I can. Um, we don't get a lot of the drops anyway for Undead, because we actually have to still them all, so... I might just focus the boss as quickly and as hard as I can to end this fight faster, and... Since I'm not gonna get a lot of the drops anyway, it'll- it'll work out. Uh, sure, just stay right there, Canopus. But yeah, hopefully the boss just kinda runs at me. And, uh, I can do this pretty quickly. I see no reason to take all of them out. Stilling them would take so much time. Left one. Velocity shift. Go ahead and get in there. It's just a Terra Knight with 1000 HP. Um, 
He does start with some buff cards, which is annoying, of course, but, you know. Oh yeah, I also outfitted Denim with skills and items again. <laughs> so, uh, people don't have to worry about that anymore. Alrighty, Uhuk, get in there, everybody just... Forward march! Wish I could hit you, but I can't. So, I'm just gonna shoot you with an arrow instead. Ooh, silence. But if I can get the dragon, I'll get the dragon. If not, it's not the end of the world. Got a hook. Those counters hurt. I recommend not hitting Uhuk. Hitting Uhuk is a good way to die. Um, I do have enough for an exorcism. Can I reach anyone of interest? Not really. Uh, guess Donalto, let's move you right here so you can exercise that dragon if need be next time your turn comes around. Uh huh. And it could do damage to you. Alternately, I could destroy some wooden crates. Let's just hit Robin here. Yeah, I'm just definitely just gonna plow my way to the boss here. Seems like the best call. Uh, physical up on you. Good. Murden. Let's go ahead and see what those fist weapons look like and how they're doing. Boom. Well, I know how they look, but you know what I mean. Auto skill. Alright, so you do not have enough for a resurrect. Or a still, rather, exercise. God. <laughs> I said the wrong thing like three times. Uh, Alrighty, we're good. You've already used your exorcism. Magic Leaf. The only problem with RSL like this is without that shield, you are a bit squishier. So I do have to be careful with that. Uh, that rampart is very annoying. Um, Alright, just go up here and smack this box crit up. I'll take it. Nicholas wins. I was hoping you could reach that dragon. Damn. Yeah, and Donalto's turn isn't going to come around in time either. Alrighty. Let's hold the line over here. Canopus. Check. Two stops. That is fantastic. Uh... I wish it was just a regular attack to pretty good damage. Oh my god, this stupid rampart. So obnoxious. Just stay right there. Would you come down here already, Divold? Why don't you hurry up and come down here before I die of old age? <laughs> Alright, everybody's clicked off the video now. I can just do as I please. Hello, Syme. How dare you? Well, like I said, I might try to recruit that dark dragon. We'll see. Dash, um, do you have enough for... nope. Nope, nothing interesting. Uh, alrighty. This was auto skill, right? Go ahead and get up there. Get a good... get a good rock chucking point. Um, sure. Alrighty, um... Fortunately, I couldn't exercise, uh, anyone else. So, you know, that sucks, but, um... I could drop a heal on some idiots. I could heal some doofuses. So go ahead and take that. Wonder what the Dark Dragon uh, has skill-wise here. What do you get? Corpse Breath? Chance to Enfeeble? Enfeeble. Interesting. Alrighty. Um, could once again drop a heal. On you too. Canopus does need the HP, so I might as well. There you go. Stopped faded. That's fine. Uhuk, Uhuk will just apply it to you again in just a moment. Don't worry about it. Oh, I wish it worked like zombies in other things where if you try to heal them with anything, <laughs> it actually hurts them. Oh well. Uh, you can get bopped. Otelia. 
misstep. That's such a not great status. It's, uh, not super useful, I'll be honest. We have a 100% chance to hit most of the time anyway. Good, meditate. Congratulations. Stop picking on RSL. Oop. Okay, here comes the boss. It's go time. Train heart. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy one to just get over pretty quickly now that the boss is actually moving towards me. Like I said, I don't get most of these drops anyway, so... Would you stop? Everybody hates RSL, my god. Um... Yeah, go over here... And... How much damage could I do to the boss, actually? How much could I hit you for? 225, that's not bad. We're just gonna go ahead and kill you. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. There we go. All right. Yeah, we'll be able to. We'll be able to hurt you pretty well. Are you tremendous shotting? No. Ow. That did hurt quite a bit. All right. I need to get RSL over here to this dragon so I can maybe get it. Your turn doesn't come along for a while. Your turn is coming up, though. Uh... Not enough to do anything super crazy to you. But I'll take what I can get. Uh... You do have enough for this. Wonderful. Wonderful! No, not that. There we go. Brimstone Hail. Okay, um... Get over here. You can Dark Wait... Syme, I suppose? Get Syme Sleep. There you go. Mighty Impact. Uh, you do have enough for your Petro Breath now, so... Go ahead and get in there and drop it. That's pretty good damage to the boss as well. And I Petrified the Ghost. Uh... I could still, but I would rather heal up RSL to make sure she doesn't die here. I don't really need the drops. Uh... Not enough to do anything super crazy there, so just run. Alright. You can get in here and smack. 439. Yes. Boom. And Denim, can you finish it? With a heart crusher? Yes, you can. Uh, never mind. Sanguine Assault instead? Uh. Whoops. Oh, I, sh I screwed up. I screwed up. I, I did a boo-boo. I did things out of order. Oh well. That is my bad. I might have been able to kill there with just a regular attack. It would have done more than uh, the heart attack, I believe. But hey, now I have time to potentially go and recruit this dragon with RSL. Steel stance. Unless... 87. There you go, you're poisoned. Yeah, you're definitely dying soon. Good. Sonic Blade! Wow! Rest in peace, Saria. That is unfortunate. Alright, RSL. The turn is kind of far away. Uh. Let's see, you do have this that you could... Is there a drop I want from these dorks? Ring of Vitality, that would be nice. I don't know if you can get jewelry as a drop though, but we'll see. There you go, bye bye. Come again. That missed. That missed. Uh... You know what, I, it's, it's, it's a dark dragon. We can, we can get a dark dragon if I just... 
have um, the class mark. So you die again to be killed again. Hatred dark within me. The curse become ruin to the Wallisters in Amorica. All right, later. Looks like she was telling the truth about the dead meaning ill for Almorica. I was I was sitting here thinking we had to go to Almorica for this. I was heading to Almorica. I was just walking around checking all the places for a shop. But I was so sure I was going to have to go to Almorica Castle and they were going to be undead outside the gate. Let's return at once. Maybe she specifically mentioned Quadriga. They were amassing at Quadriga to go to Almorica. Whoops. Three worm things. I'll take it. Form an action to restore an ally's MP. Ooh, those experience charms would have been nice to get. Uh, whoopsie. It's fine, I can grind experience charms if I ever need to. I have plenty of them anyway. There we go. Items auto restocked. So ju just for just for my sake right now, if if I go to Almorica, is another event going to happen? No. Okay. So so Quadriga, where it was, where I had to go for the next step of that. I I was sure it was going to be Almorica, but. Alrighty, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn, and I'll see you next time for some more.